Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can make your character snap to the surface of an object or terrain when controlling it with Motion Director in iClone. The Motion Director system provides gameplay-like controls to drive various types of character movement as well as trigger flawless transitions to certain actions, all while allowing for dynamic camera movement in real time. With this new feature, you can freely record your character exploring your virtual world. Please check out the basic Motion Director tutorials on our Reillusion Courses page if you're not yet familiar with this tool. Ok, let's start off by demonstrating how to snap your character to the surface of your terrain. First, you need to apply an IMD file to the target character in order to activate Motion Director. There are a few embedded IMD files with iClone, and you can also purchase others from the content store. In the MD Controls panel, you can see I've selected the target character already. In the control settings, you'll find a new checkbox titled Snap to Surface, and when you enable it, there are also some settings you can adjust. The limit indicator will show a line in your viewport that shows the height limit, which we'll talk about more in just a moment. But for now, let's just go ahead and start. Once we do, you'll see the character's root snap to the top of the box mesh it was previously inside as Motion Director auto detects it. Initially, if you move your character down or up a level, it will snap to the new surface regardless of foot placement, so you might want to consider triggering perform actions like jumping to make the descent or ascent look more natural. Ok, let's look at surface sensor settings now and demonstrate height limit settings by enabling the limit indicator. When it appears in your viewport, the length of the indicator gizmo represents the climb and fall limit parameters which are in the settings panel. Even if you run off an edge, your character will not fall below the fall limit arrow on the bottom of the indicator gizmo. If we take the fall limit to a lower value, it will extend the lower limit of the gizmo, and now our character can do his parkour jump and land in the correct place. The limit indicator gizmo adapts dynamically to the environment as well. You can see that as long as we have the fall limit nice and close to the proper plane, we can have our character successfully enter into this elevator and exit onto another floor without issue. In this scenario, let's look at the transpose damping parameter. If this value is low, the character may jitter while traversing uneven ground as you see here. However, if we increase this value to maximum, you'll see a much better result as the damping calculates a smoother trajectory. This parameter is super useful in scenarios where there is frequent level change like climbing stairs. Again, you may want to strategically place your camera unless you want to spend more time manually adjusting foot placement later on. Finally, the input forecast parameter can be used to predict proper foot placement for upcoming obstacles in your character's path. Notice that if we walk up to this elevated plane initially, the feet will break through the mesh as the character is elevating. However, if we increase the input forecast parameter value, you can see on our second attempt that it will detect the impending level change and will calculate a more accurate foot placement. The same goes for walking up a ramp. You may find that you need to tweak the input forecast value in this scenario as well. For ideal results, it's best to take a couple of run-throughs of your terrain first, know where your cameras will be, and adjust the transpose damping and input forecast values accordingly. Motion Director can also detect terrain changes created via height or displacement maps as well. You can see here how adjusting the strength of these maps affects the terrain. Yet our cute little dinosaur can still adapt and adjust to the terrain fairly accurately. In this final example, I'm using the natural terrain generator from developer Antarius in our content store, which utilizes a displacement map. You can explore this plugin on your own time if you wish, but here I just want to demonstrate how Motion Director can still detect and snap your character to the proper elevation even if your terrain is generated via displacement map. And don't forget, if you have the Unreal Live Link plugin, you can import and export your terrain back and forth between the two programs and have your character traverse both environments accurately in real time. Motion Director is still new and constantly improving, so be sure to check back often for updates and new features. I'll see you in the next video.